questions from WH questions. Okay, and what is an indirect question? We use an indirect question for formality, for politeness. Usamos una pregunta indirecta para más formalidad y por cortesía. Example, if you're at the airport, if you are in the supermarket, and you need to ask somebody a question, normally someone you don't know, you don't abruptly stop them and ask them a question. Or if you're on the street, you need to be polite if you want an answer. Necesita ser cortés si quieres una respuesta, por ejemplo, de alguien que esté en la calle, o cuando estás en el supermercado, en el aeropuerto, en un lugar público, y que tú necesites preguntar algo. Necesitamos ser corteses, por lo que una pregunta normal la convertimos en una pregunta indirecta. Para hacer eso, usamos expresiones, y quiero que repita junto conmigo, como, Can you tell me? Me puedes decir. Repeat. Everybody repeat. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Repeat. Can you tell me? Could you tell me? More formal. Could. Más formal. Could. Could you tell me? Repeat. Could you tell me? Or we can use this expression. Do you know? Sabes? Do you know? Repeat. Do you know? Okay, very good, very good. Now, let me give you an example with B. With B. Usando el verbo to be. Okay, here's B. Okay. This is a direct question. Esta es una pregunta directa. Where is the store? Okay, in singular or in plural, where are my keys? Direct question. Pero queremos ser corteses. We want to be polite, so what do we do? Now we must make an indirect question. So for a, to make an indirect question, okay, look at this. Can you tell me where? The store is, okay, fíjense bien, can you tell me where the store is, fíjense bien lo que le pasó al verbo be, se fue hasta el último, le agregamos la expresión can you tell me y el verbo to be se va al final, can you tell me where the store is, and the same thing happens with the other expressions. Could you tell me where the store is? Do you know where the store is? In plural, it's the same thing. Where are my keys? Can you tell me? Can you tell me where my keys are? Okay, can you tell me where my keys are? Notice that the verb to be went to the end again. Okay, se fijaron? Le agregamos la expresión, we add the expression, and the verb to be goes to the end. Okay? Could you tell me where my keys are? Very good, very good. Do you know where my keys are? Okay, please repeat. Excellent. Okay, let's continue with indirect questions from WH questions when, with do, does, and did. Now look at these examples. We have a direct question. A direct question. How often do banks open? Notice that we use do to form the question. How often do banks open? We use do because it, uh, banks, plural. Okay, 
So we add the expression, can you tell me, could you tell me, or we can use, do you know. So with do is, can you tell me what time banks open? Can you tell me what time banks open? So notice we use do and the verb, we do not add an s. But observe what happens in singular. What time does the bank open? When we use the auxiliary does, okay, we add the indirect question phrase, can you tell me or could you tell me, do you know? Can, could you tell me what time the bank opens? Now we add an S. Did you see that? We do not use the auxiliary in the indirect question. We use the auxiliary in the direct question. We do not use the auxiliary in the indirect question. Okay? Do you know what time the bank opens? Did you observe that? ¿Se fijaron? Cuando hacemos una pregunta indirecta utilizando el auxiliar do or does al hacer la pregunta indirecta no utilizamos el auxiliar do or does ¿Ok? Y noten lo que pasa en el verbo cuando es una pregunta que convertimos de do al verbo no le agregamos la s cuando es una pregunta que convertimos de das al verbo le agregamos la s did you notice? ok, very good, now what happens when it's an indirect question from the past when did the train arrive? that's a direct question let's convert it into an indirect question Vamos a convertirla en una indirecta. Ok. Do you know when the train arrived? Ok. Now notice we use did. We use the auxiliary did in the direct question. En la pregunta directa usamos el auxiliar did. And in the indirect question, we do not use the auxiliary, but the verb is put in past tense. No usamos el auxiliar, pero el verbo queda en pasado en la pregunta indirecta. Do you know when the train arrived? Did you see that? Ok, muy bien. Accidentally, accidentalmente, borré todos los mensajes de, de YouTube, los que llegan a mi correo. Y en algunas de esas venían algunas preguntas que yo las quería convertir en video respuestas, como esta. Por favor, si aún no te he respondido a tu pregunta, porque he recibido varias, por favor, vuélvemela a hacer. Vuélvemela a hacer para que aparezca en mi correo, porque accidentalmente borré todos los mails. Very good. No se te olvide suscribir. Haz clic aquí arriba. Ok. Deja tu comentario abajo. Por favor, compártame en su Facebook o en su Twitter. Okay, y una manita arriba. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.